Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. I got a, another tutorial for you guys. First let's get this YouTube stuff out of the way. If you like the content make sure to smash that like button and then share it on your social media. When you share it on your social media follow me on that bird app. The link is in the description. Subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell for all if you haven't done it yet already. And leave some comments underneath the video if you've got any questions or comments. Just leave it below the video and I'll get back to you. I always read my comments, guys. That's all the free and easy things you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, look in the description. Use the Ko-Fi link for a one-time tip or the subscribe star to join as a channel member. Otherwise, underneath the YouTube video, use the join button or the super thanks button. All right, guys. Let's get into this. Roll that intro. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and make something that has a whole lot of people confused. It's bookshelves. Now, if you're not using Creation Kit Fixes and Tweaks, I highly recommend it because when you make bookshelves without it and then you try to copy them from a warehouse and paste them into your player home, the kit will seize up and, the, and then you have to figure out then you have to actually go ahead and build them on a the spot, which is a big hassle. So, yeah, get creation kit fixes and tweaks. So, we're going to open up our world, uh, world objects, click on static, and we are going to get us a shelf. Now, I just want the common shelf 01, that one right there. Just like that, put that in there. I'm going to click my snapped grid snap to angle on now I don't have to have it on my thing here so I'm going to move it over here and then I'm going to zoom in here like this and I'm going to click my snap to angle and snap to grid off right now and then I'm going to in the filter I'm going to type default book and then I am going to click on all. And I'll get the default book shelf marker. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. I do want to click my snap to angle back on. Because I'm going to use my gizmos. And I'm going to put that up. And put that up right there. Now I can go ahead and click that back off is I am going to need to move this over here. So I'll use my Z key, move it up. Try to get it even with the shelf. As close as, as close as you can get it without it being in the shelf and without it hovering too high above it. Just like that. And try to use your X key or C key whatever you need to move that over that's good right there we're going to duplicate that and then we're going to move this over to here it gets a little touchy so that will be good there and we're going to choose both of them and duplicate them same thing and then that gives us four. And we're going to duplicate those. Now we got eight. And that would be good there. And then I like to rest here. Like this. And. Eight. And duplicate those. Control Z to move that. I hit the wrong button. 
use my X key, move those over there, and then I got enough space for two more books, so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate these. Now, you can put up to 18 books on a shelf. Most shelves, you can. Uh, the noble shelves, sometimes it'll only take 12 or whatever. So, you have that right there. Now you wanna go ahead I'm going to turn my snap to angle back on. I'm going to click on container. And I'm just going to put book in the filter. And it'll say player bookshelf container. So I want that. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and turn that around. And bring that out. And down. Make sure. Make sure it centers up. It doesn't have to be, but I'm just picky. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to move it out here behind the thing. I usually give it quite a good distance because you want to put, you want to place the shelf out to where the book uh, shelf container is outside of the player's reach so the player can't get it. So that's good there. Now... We are going to need some triggers and some collision planes. First thing we're going to do is the collision plane. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on our bookshelf. And then we're going to click up here, this box with the C in it. Create a collision cube. Now, you don't want it covering the entire bookshelf. You only need just the front of the bookshelf as having a collision plane see how i made it a little thin like that doesn't matter if it goes off to the side that's okay i actually want to move this back a little bit just a little bit where the books won't be able to come flying off the shelf i like that so that's good. So now I'm going to take and I'm going to move this to the side. Now we need to do some triggers. Okay, the first one we're going to need is our bookshelf click trigger. So click on your bookshelf. Go up to your tri create triggers box. Open that up. Type in book. And you'll get this one right here. Go ahead and do that right there. Open open the reference up. Go to primitive. Click on player activation. And since it's the click trigger, I change it. I change it to blue. You can change whatever color you want. And then resize your click trigger. So say I want it about like that. And like that that's actually a little too wide I don't want to have it sticking over too much just like that turn the gizmos off now I want to go ahead and slide that out so that I can center it up on my books now this is actually the trigger arrangement the trigger that the character will click on to put the books in. So we're going to go ahead and get this linked up. Okay, so what you do here is I'm going to take the slide out here and I'm going to open this up and I'm going to go to link ref and I'm going to choose my painter. It needs a key. Oh, well, that. I guess that's okay. It needs a. Anyway, it needs a keyword. So type in book in this list. And you scroll down through. And you want to find bookshelf painter. That is the one that you want. Okay. And what that does is that will link that trigger to that container. 
Now, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take, I've got that linked. I'm going to take and I'm going to move this trigger here to the side so that I can do another trigger. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I'm going to click my three triggers. I'm going to type in book. And I'm going to use bookshelf, player bookshelf trigger. And that's usually red. This, this one, you want to size it so that all the books are encompassed. And it, it covers all the books. Uh, that's pretty good there. It doesn't matter on the sides. It does matter on the top. You don't want to have it too high. Just about like that. You can leave it on the sides, on the back, stuff like that. Now, you're going to want to link this to the container. So what you do is go ahead and double click on your reference here. Go to link ref, open this up and click on that. Doesn't need a keyword. So that is good right there. Now that we've got that, we'll turn the sizers off. Turn off the sizers. Now that I have that like that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move that to the side. All right. Now I need to link all of these books to the bookshelf container here. So I'm going to open up my reference for my bookshelf container. And I'm going to zoom in fairly close. And I'm going to take and... I'm going to do the first one here, show you guys how to do this. Choose my first book and keyword is book shelf book zero one. Well, that's okay. And so you don't get lost, click on your first book, double tap the one key twice to hide it. And then keep going with the rest of them and use bookshelf the next one in line so this is like bookshelf two get it and then oh yeah i could have got lost and now i'm not going to get lost so this will be bookshelf three just like that hide it Bookshelf four. Hide it. There we go. Bookshelf four. Like that. Hide it. Then bookshelf five. The word is bookshelf five. That. Hide it. Now, if you have, once you get to six, you're going to have to right click, choose new, and then do everything after that by right clicking and choosing new. Because it only gives you so much room. So that would be six. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the rest of these and we'll continue on with making sure everything's linked up okay so i got these books all linked to this bookshelf trigger i'm going to push okay on this you can see the lines there push alt one push alt one to bring them all back just like that uh something i forgot over here with this uh red trigger this bookshelf uh the one that goes all the way around the books, I forgot what the damn name. Shelf trigger, anyway. Go to primitive and uh, make sure it says it switch, you switch it to L trigger. So go ahead and save your mod right there. And we got a we got a couple of couple of more links here to do. Okay, so we do have one more link to establish. 
you want to open up the bookshelf container here and go to link ref and you're going to want to click new and you're going to go ahead and click your on your uh shelf trigger keyword is bookshelf trigger zero one so push okay okay just like that now those are all linked up let's go ahead and move them back into place so we're gonna go ahead and move them back into place like that it, i like to have the stuff centered so i'm gonna go ahead and move this stuff back in here if you're worried about the line if you're worried about the line just click on your window and push f5 and everything will fix up right now i know this seems kind of redundant but i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to click on my shelf and i'm going to hide it and then i'm going to copy all these because i know they work so i'm going to Oops, not copy. I'm going to duplicate these. And I'm going to move it over here someplace to where out of the way. Push Alt-1, just like that. All right, now, I, I need to highlight these again. So I'm going to hide my, contain my uh, shelf here. I'm going to copy all those. Alt-1 to bring my shelf back. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, this is the easy way to do it. So we're going to duplicate that. And you can see that the, the arrows change. The Z usually is up and down. But now it's the C key. So sometimes you, sometimes you got to play with it. Usually if you... Usually, if you just close your mod and reopen it, that problem solves, it, solves, it, solves itself. But sometimes you can get away with it. So we're going to duplicate this. And we're going to put this down on the bottom shelf. That looks pretty good right there. And then we're going to go ahead and move our collision plane back in, into position. Now, I know in my standalone tutorial for this, I had I was making all kinds of collision planes. You don't actually need to. You just need the one in the front because the shelf has collision on it. So that's good. So we're going to go ahead and save our mod. And click off our snap to grid. And we're going to copy all that. So we're going to copy it. Copy it. And we're going to go into our tutorial cell. And we're going to place it. Now, I also said during my standalone tutorial that you have to uh, change all the triggers to be different. See, and now that the C key, the C key is still up and down. So I'm going to fix this. And then we want to put this back against the wall a little bit. But anyway, I said you had to change the triggers and give them their rotation and everything. This does it too. Just... Click the rotation just a little bit. See, now the rotation. When you look at this, is not all zeros. This will work. All right, so let's go in our let's go in our test cell and see if we can put some books on the shelf. 
Okay, guys, let's go check out our bookshelf. We'll go in our test cell. And we're in here. Nothing's crashing. Armor mannequin is pre-dressed. Everything. There's my my bookshelf. It says activate bookshelf. I know it looks a little different because of my mods. It will tell you. It will give you the message. And then you can just start putting books on it. And it will let you have up to 18 books. So. When you get enough when you reach the limit it'll say you can't place that many books on the shelf there it is right there and we'll put more and it'll tell you up up there are notifications that, uh, you can put 18 books on the shelf we will keep going And then that le the last bookshelf. Go put put the rest of this stuff on. Oh, nope, I don't see. I don't want that note there. I don't know where that note came from. I must have accidentally clicked on it when I was giving myself the books. But, and that is full there. And they all work. And you can take them all that you want. And there it is. So that works. Let's move on, guys. Mm -hmm.